Hey everyone, Steve from Fast Product Photography Services here. After you finish this video, if you need any product photos taken for your Amazon products, or really anything e-commerce, come visit us at Fast Product Photography using the link in the description. Thanks. All right, everyone. So we're going to do kind of a fun project today. We're going to learn how to put this uh, shoe here onto a, you know, we're going to make it kind of a cool blue background and we're going to elevate the shoe so that it looks like it's floating. Right now, it's a pretty good picture. It's just a nice, good quality picture of a shoe on white. The shadow looks good. Um, the So the background actually isn't perfectly white. This is just the raw picture, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it way better all around. So let's go ahead and select the magic wand tool, first of all, and let's do the quick selection. We are going to make sure that it's all selected within this. We don't want to lose any of this, first of all. And this probably isn't going to be perfect off of the original selection, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool, curvature pen tool, and let's get started on cutting this thing out. Okay, so this part is admittedly a little bit monotonous, not the greatest part to watch. That I cannot deny. And actually, I don't even like the way that turned out. So I'm just going to keep going along here until this is complete. But this is, of course, an important part of it. And I'm just going to kind of switch between here. And just bear with me. And we will have this completed within just a second. We're going to switch back to the curvature pen. And let's just bring it home there. Why not? All right. So now we're going to go outside of the selection all the way back to the original selection. Go to Path. Hold Control. Click on that. And it's now a selection. Delete the selection. And now we've got, for the most part, just a floating shoe. I don't really like how this turned out. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and get rid of it. Because yeah. I don't want it to look sloppy like that. No. There you go. And we'll do the same thing. Delete that. Zoom out. And we're looking pretty good. It's not perfect, I would say. Let's get it to be pretty darn good. We've got a little bit of that inner edge there, which I don't like. And uh, this is one of those that I think you, you kind of want to have it looking pretty good. So here we go. We've got ourselves just a basic shoe on a transparent background. I'm going to go ahead and hit control T. I want to make this just a little bit smaller. Center it, hit check mark. Perfect. Now let's get a background in here. I'm going to go with a gradient and let's see, what are we going to want? We're going to do a blue of some sort. I think that if we do one like this, it should look pretty good. Um, I, I so I I think that for this we're gonna go with the radial. I think if we reverse it, yeah, that's gonna look real good. So let's leave it like that and put it underneath the shoe. And already you can kind of see how it's starting to look, you know, decent. But there's a couple things that just are sticking out to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit control and select the uh, edges of the actual shoe. And I'm going to go up and select inverse so that we have that. And I'm going to zoom in and again, select, modify, expand. 
I'm going to go by one pixel. And let's just delete that. I'm just trying to get rid of that outer light edge just by a little bit. And I think that that should look a little bit better. And I, I, I would say that it does. So now we've got our shoe, you know, kind of just sitting here. And one of the things that I want to do, first of all, is I just want to uh, show you one way that we could do this. We could do a drop shadow if we wanted to, and we're going to go from the top and we can make the distance, the spread, and the size. You know, this is the type of thing that it's not, it's not going to be perfect if you do it this way. You can make the noise a little bit bigger and, you know, basically this is the type of thing that just makes the, the image stand out a little bit. Not exactly what we want to do though. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, but let's make a shape underneath. Okay. And it's going to be sort of similar to the shape of the shoe. Not exactly perfect, but let's make the fill black. We're just going to do a transparent outline for now. Hit enter and Let's just look at the size here in comparison. Uh, not perfect. Obviously, we want to put it underneath the shoe. And you can see, even though it's not anything of resemblance of a shadow at this point, you can see how the shoe is starting. To, it's immediately elevated. So let's go back onto this and let's blur the shape. And let's, gonna, let's go to 20 pixels, maybe. Let's try 50 pixels. Okay, so now we're starting to look like we're getting somewhere. All right. Um, what I want to do is control T. I want to rotate that just a little bit just to match it and right click on it. Let's, let's go ahead and change the perspective just slightly. Okay, because we're looking at this at a flat angle and I would say that that is starting to look pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and make that just a little bit smaller, I'm thinking, because at this point it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense like that. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And what I want to do is actually filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I want to make it just a little bit more. And that's starting to look a little bit more like what I'm looking for there. Let's go with that and control T one more time. And let's just make it a little bit bigger. And you can see we're starting to get ourselves a floating shoe. And at this point, it's probably just a little bit light in comparison to the background but if, if you want to get that centered i would say that is a floating shoe right there and um, we we will go ahead and leave that as is i don't think it's quite perfect but you know it's a it's a basic floating shoe and um, this is just something that you know you could use this with multiple objects. You could really, you could really do anything. In this case, we just did a shoe. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.